Hey guys, welcome back to another week of What's for Dinner. My name is Andrea with Foodimentary Adventures in Food. Our What's for Dinner videos come out every single Tuesday. And in my household, it's me, my husband, and our 10-month-old little boy. So let me show you what we are having for dinner tonight. We are having some brisket, and I bought this from Sam's. I guess it's been, I don't know, maybe a couple of months ago. And it's two, it's a two pound package and I just cooked up one pound today. And then I put the rest in the freezer for us to have it another time. I also made some baked beans and potato salad. So the baked beans came from my pantry, these bushes baked beans, and then I always doctor up my baked beans. So I fried up some bacon, chopped it up, well chopped up and fried up some bacon along with some bell pepper. I added some additional barbecue sauce and then I actually baked my baked beans in the oven. And then I made some potato salad. And then I also made a dessert for us. I made a cherry crisp. And here's the side of it so that you guys can see it. And the cherry crisp mix I picked up from Aldi, I guess maybe a, maybe a couple of months ago one of their seasonal items and you just add butter and fruit to it. And so used this for my pantry. And then I also used a can of cherry pie filling and topping. And then we are going to add some barbecue sauce to our brisket once we sit down at the table. So this is what we are having for dinner tonight and we'll see you guys next time. Hey guys, so for dinner tonight, we are having a meal from Trader Joe's. It is barbecue chicken teriyaki. It's a quick meal that you can heat in the microwave or on top of the stove. So I heated mine up in a skillet. It doesn't come with the vegetables. It just comes with the chicken. And um, we are also having some chicken shumai as well. And it is also from Trader Joe's. It is something that I had in my freezer. So it comes with the little dumplings. And then it also comes with the soy sauce. If you're wondering what shumai is, it's basically kind of like an open-faced wonton. So the same filling that would be in a dumpling or a wonton is in shumai. Um, so I also cook this on top of the stove. There are microwave directions on the package as well, but I usually don't care to cook stuff like this in the microwave. I'd prefer to cook it on top of the stove and I kind of steamed it. So this is what it looks like. And like I said, there is the dipping sauce. And then I just made some jasmine rice to go with our meal. So this is what we are having for dinner tonight. And we'll see you guys next time. Hey guys, so for dinner tonight, I am trying out a new recipe. It is a beefy, cheesy goulash. And I will make sure to leave the recipe in the description box. So in my skillet, I have two pounds of ground beef and some garlic, and I've cooked it and drained it. And um, now I'm going to add in a bunch of tomato sauce. Diced tomatoes. I don't know if my skillet is gonna be big enough. Oh my goodness. Some soy sauce. And I am not adding as much soy sauce as the recipe called for because I just felt like it might be too salty. I mean, I can always go back and add more if I want to, but I just wasn't sure. Then I have some seasoned salt as well. And some Italian seasoning. And I'm going to add in three cups of water. And I think my skillet might be too full. I hope not. Um, so after I add in this three cups of water, it says to cook this for about 20 minutes and then add in your elbow macaroni. So I hope this cooks down because this is very, very full. All right, so here we go. I'm gonna cover the skillet 
and let this cook down a little bit and then I will bring you back when I have everything all plated up. But this is goulash. I'm gonna add in the elbow macaroni. After the elbow macaroni cooks, I'm gonna add in some cheddar cheese and that's it. So I'll show you guys what it looks like as soon as it's finished. So here it is, I followed the directions exactly. I cooked it for 30 minutes with the lid on, removed it from the heat, and then I added in cheddar cheese. I did add in more cheddar cheese than it called for. It only called for a cup, but I added in a cup and then I stirred it up and I added more cheese. So here it is, and this makes a ton, a ton. We're gonna be eating leftovers for a while. I will caution you, make sure you use a big, deep skillet. Mine was almost filled to the brim and I thought it was gonna overflow, but it didn't. Um, but it looks really good. And so here is Howard's plate. So I just made um, this to go with it. I picked it up from Trader Joe's on my recent haul and I just stir fried it in a skillet with a little bit of olive oil and then added some garlic salt to it. And then we are having my favorite garlic bread that I talk about all the time and I get it from Tom Thumb and it's pretty inexpensive. You get eight slices and it's like $2.25 when you can find it on sale. And even when it's not on sale, I think it's like $2.40. Uh, but I cooked it in the air fryer. I got a little, it got a little bit too brown, but it's still fine. So anyway, this is what we are having for dinner tonight and we'll see you guys next time. Hey guys, so for dinner tonight, we are having a meal that my mom used to make when I was growing up, pork neck bones and rice. So these are the neck bones and I made um, them in the crock pot. I found a recipe online and it has a really thick gravy and these neck bones are falling off the bone. They have a really good flavor. So I'll make sure to link the recipe in the description box. The only thing that I did not add to the recipe was vinegar because I'm not a huge fan of vinegar. So I didn't add that, but everything else I followed exactly. And so here they are, um, and I'm serving them with rice and some canned green beans, these Italian style green beans. And then I made some cornbread and I used this. It was in my pantry and needed to be used. Um, so this is what we are having for dinner tonight and we'll see you guys next time. Hey guys, so for dinner tonight, we are having these five cheese breadsticks from Motor City Pizza Company. We tried their pizza out last week and we really liked it a lot. And so I had bought this on another shopping trip and it was in our freezer. So I decided to make it tonight. Uh, five cheese and it has mozzarella, Parmesan, Asiago, Romano, and cheddar cheese in a Parma, excuse me, Parmesan cheese sauce. And so it comes in this um, little baking pan and you bake it at 425 degrees. Then you take it out, put it on a cookie sheet and you slice it up and here it is. So we tried a couple of slices just to see, you know, what we thought of it. And um, we both like it. Howard really, really likes it. And he does not care for breadsticks at all. I think the breadsticks are okay. I think I prefer the pizza to the breadsticks. Um, so we're having this and then with it, I just uh, popped this in the microwave. This is something that I had in my pantry that we needed to use, creamy tomato basil soup. It's from HEB, which is a grocery store here in Texas. And you just microwave the pouch and then I just split it up for us. So we are going to kind of use the breadsticks as, a grilled cheese, as grilled cheese sandwiches and we're just gonna dip them in our tomato soup. So a quick and easy meal tonight, but I used up the cheese sticks from my freezer and the base, tomato basil soup from my pantry. So this is what we are having for dinner tonight and we'll see you guys next time.